efficient, and I, I say corrupt, system, um, a legal system that allows this, actually helps with this, and requires no evidence. That's the big thing. You see the evidence. I'm being um, kept from my children in my case, and I know a lot of men suffer the same thing because it's common to do. So I'm being kept under the guise of me raping my wife. I just found this out. I've been raping her for 30 years. Great thing for your kids to hear about their daddy, by the way. It's not. You could have picked something else um, that I, you know, uh, j my God, let's just leave it at that. Things like that, you know. Why am I not in jail? Just, I'll just leave it with that one. The other, you know, um, crazy things like what? Um, oh, yeah, slamming my son up against the wall when he was like 14. And by the way, I have my, my 29 or 20, 26, 27. Shoot, I got six kids. Hold on. Something like that. He, he, right beside me saying that I raised, saying, no, man, we had a great childhood. We had a great childhood. We had a great childhood. We had a great family. It was, it was not perfect but there was no nefarious anything. I, I'm a great dad. I get out there and do skits with my kids. I, um, you know, I pull them around the park and in wagons. Come on, it's just silly. And to not require evidence and just to say these things and to keep your children from you, a video like this, which spend a second with me, just spend a second with me. I'm gonna turn this on, I'm gonna go, no, no, I'm gonna leave the camera on. And I may make a comment, but he's going to get right to the point of why, to whatever degree you're suffering this, I, I feel like I'm suffering one of the great, the greatest, the, the greatest severities of it. I mean, I can't, no phone calls, none. I haven't seen my children, but four times in 10 months, my oldest daughters will have nothing to do with me. How unnatural. What if someone said, Hey, these girls, their dad wants nothing to do with them. Weird, isn't it? It is weird. It's, 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 it never happens unless there's a disorder going on in the family. One of those parents is doing something that's not right. Listen. Uh, and thank you for the invitation. I have a handout that's in your, your booklets there. And if you could turn to the last page for a second. You'll see a picture of this little girl at a soccer field between her mommy and daddy and her stepmom and stepdad. That's a healthy separated family structure. That's what divorce or post-divorce family is supposed to look like. And the now when you look at this, you can see how fragile that little child is between her mommy and daddy. Because if there's a lot of anger and hostility between mom and dad, guess where it's going through? It's going through her. And it, gets, it destroys children when there is a good deal of hostility and anger in the family. The this is a separated family. issue family. that we're facing primarily is that one of the parents in this family is a narcissistic personality or a borderline personality. I was saying, I forget my mic doesn't work. He's talking what his example there about that little girl feeling that stress. And that example, that was two divorced couples, right? And they were there. One was with a stepdad or whatever, or, or vice versa. But yeah, that's the tension that he's talking about when there's this high, you know, high conflict divorce going on. It starts destroying the kids. About five to six percent of the population are narcissistic personalities, about five to six percent are borderline personalities. So that makes about ten percent of the divorces will involve a narcissistic or borderline personality. They are excessively high conflict. And a lot of times people say, Oh, it's both parents. No, no, no. When you got a narcissistic or borderline parent, it only takes one. And that parent creates this intense conflict that moves through the child and destroys the family. And right now, what we have in this situation is that nobody is doing anything to stop it. Professional psychology is not doing anything to stop it. The legal system is not doing anything to stop it. That children are losing a relationship with a normal range and loving parent. 
And I would say churches are doing nothing to stop this because I don't think they understand and see this. They just go on what this parent that has this disorder, they see this parent protecting these innocent little children and even the grown children, they see them after they have already been corrupted, after they've already been pulled over to the side of this person that has this disorder and made to believe and see the other parent as a monster, as, as something to be needing protection from. This is exactly what I'm experiencing. Parents are losing a relationship with their children, oftentimes for the rest of their lives. A normal, loving parent is losing their child, and we are leaving children with a significantly pathological, narcissistic, or borderline parent. And no one is doing anything to stop it. Now, this is not my field. High conflict divorce is not where I come from. Um, I actually come out of ADHD and early childhood mental health. And I was a clinical director of an early childhood assessment and treatment center and entered private practice about 2008. And that's when I ran into my first case of parental alienation. And back in 2008, I had never heard the word parental alienation because no sane mental health professional goes into high conflict divorce. Because high conflict divorce, it's too risky professionally. You're likely to get licensing board complaints from these angry, narcissistic, borderline parents. Uh, if you make a misstep with the legal system, that could be uh, you could lose your license or get in trouble with the licensing board or the legal system. Makes sense, doesn't it? That they have to have a different man. It just totally makes sense. This is why you're getting this, dads. This is why you're getting this crazy forensic psychology in the family court system because it just moves the process along. It's agreeable with them, all right? And everyone's making a lot of money. Listen to this man, what he's saying. It's, it will, it'll put your mind in a different spot and set you in a better place to have a better chance at being involved in your little children's lives as a father. And that's what you want. I know you have a yearning, burning desire to pass on your morals, your compass to your children. It's just, it's just hardwired into you and this man's um, information will help you do that. System interface and therapy isn't particularly helpful because you got these parents who are conflict and so there's no rewards out of doing therapy. So mental health professionals go into other domains, ADHD, autism, trauma, you know, eating disorder, anything. But mental health professionals do not go into high conflict divorce. And what that creates is a situation that the ones who go into high conflict divorce, the only motivation to do that is because it's very lucrative. Make Child custody evaluation. Doesn't that make sense? Same thing with family law attorneys. Every time I see one of them, there's, it's obvious, it's logical, you're only here for the money. Are twenty to forty thousand dollars per evaluation, and they let me tell you, they are significantly problematic. Um, then therapy, this there's some reunification therapy they call it. There's no such thing as reunification therapy, not in any model, not any theorist, no such thing as reunification therapy. But people say they do it, and it goes on for years. And so it's a nice lucrative way you have your your slot in your schedule filled and it's paid private pay because insurance won't pay for it but it's court ordered and so you just for five three four years you do therapy and nothing changes so it's a very lucrative for mental health professionals but not very rewarding and nothing gets solved i just i cut that video right there because i'm going to end it i know there's enough information for you as a dad losing his children, losing access to your children. I just wanted to stop it there and say there's there's got to be enough takeaways to where this dude, this gentleman, not dude, this educated gentleman is passionate about what he's describing. He's already pointed out so many things. Hopefully that won't happen to you. You won't just go along with a lullaby and you know the judge is not going to be able just to say, yeah, you need to go and get this court appointed you know, parent evaluator and this thing. Hopefully, if you're going through a separation, you're not gonna go to a counselor, a licensed family marriage therapist, spend $13,000 like I did. Um, if that lady that I spent 
I mean, golly, this has been going on for me since September 2nd, 2018, right? I've gone through long bouts of not seeing my children, then back in the home. Just craziness. But this lady that I went to and spent all that money to make my wife a victim, she wouldn't last five minutes in the room with this gentleman. So what to do? That's all. That's why I stopped the video. What to do? Well, already you're going to educate yourself and know what not to do. And then I'm going to tell you what not to do. I can't tell you what to do because all of us are going through different scenarios, different levels, different degrees. I can tell you what not to do. Here's what not to do. Do not panic. Do not look at that wife and go, she couldn't do this because yes, she can. I'm going to explain why this is important. Do not panic and then get fearful and agree to do everything that wife you're looking at in this situation is asking you to do, often with the help of female counselors on her side saying, yes, it would be a good thing. No, it's not necessarily a good thing. First of all, if your wife is suffering any of this stuff that I'm talking about, that, that Dr. Craig's Childress is talking about, that is not your wife. And that's what you need to get through your noggin. All them hot tears in the morning thinking about your babies, your little girl, how she's not going to be in, how you can't influence her. I know you have an insatiable desire. It's hardwired in us to pass on our compass. You know, all the things we've learned, we want our little girls to know this. It's proven we can't get past. I know you can't get past all the research of, of what a benefit you are in your children's life. So what do you do? Don't ever, ever let your brain say, hey, she can't, I just need to stop. I just need to talk to her. If, if, if I just need to just get her attention for five minutes and I can reason with her. You cannot reason with this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you're experiencing being alienated from your children and you're a normal range dad, normal range, that's the key. You need to learn what that is. No court of law after you being seen as normal range would permit this crap legally for that normal range parent to be separated, isolated, be, be told vicious stories about that person's character. What happened to me by doing everything? I ended up selling, I looked forever for a 2006 Suzuki Jixxer, one of the fastest bikes ever, no mechanical anything on it, no ABS, no traction control, nothing, just pure everything. I loved it. I ended up selling that god dang thing to take a $3,000 psyche valve after spending $13,000 on counseling. Read coming in, spending a hundred bucks to read a goddamn letter to my dad, invisible dad in a chair. Come on, man. Don't do these things. Do your investigation. Do not cave in to every demand that your wife, the mother of your children, is giving you at first. Stop. She'll end up resenting you. She'll lose respect for you. She'll double down. She'll double down. I ended up being kicked out with a full staph infection. Still have it. About killing me and blah, blah, blah. I've got a violin case. Yeah, you can't imagine how big my violin is. I don't want to pull it out. I hate that damn thing. It is what it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you. At least um, go and take a look at these links and dig in to uh, Dr. Craig Childress if you're suffering this supposed parental alienation, which is, no, it's been established and, and well known what you're suffering. This doctor will tell you that. And then you can take appropriate